Good morning, everyone. And today, I decided I'm going to vlog on the weekends when I usually don't. Um, just to show you guys kind of what my weekends are like when I'm not working. Um, sometimes I still work on the weekends, like I am right now, technically by vlogging. But, you know, that's like the easy part. The hard part is like editing, uploading. Um... I think I'm still going to edit and upload today anyways, but I'm going to show you guys what I do on the weekends. Like, usually these are my days off, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. That is one nasty zit. Oh my god. But the first thing I do when I wake up is feed the cats. Good job. He's so big now, guys. Look, he's bigger than Luna. Sorry, that's all a mess. I fed them wet food last. Okay guys, so that is my morning coffee. Mmm, so good. So on weekends is when I do like my laundry. Um, anything that uses like a lot of water, um, I do on the weekends because it's just a lot cheaper to do stuff on weekends. So I don't do my laundry till the weekends. Um, so I'm gonna do my laundry. I'm gonna start a load of laundry. And then um, I'm probably just gonna chill and maybe scroll on tiktok or something um until i decide i want to get ready it's seven o'clock i think the reason why i wake up so early is just because i'm like used to waking up early at this point like i went to bed at like two but like my body's just like used to waking up at like seven or eight now nine is like me sleeping in <laughs> so but i don't have a problem waking up early because i can always have a nap in the day so if I like I tried to go back to bed like I woke up at like 6 30 and I tried to go back to bed I literally sat there with my eyes closed like just cuddling Josh for like 40 minutes and I still couldn't sleep So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get up have my coffee and then if I'm tired after that I'll just have a nap later, but Yeah, that's what I'm doing Sure. Hey guys Hey guys So today me and Carly lunch but we're both not hungry yet yeah, yeah we're gonna how long how long can your mom stay there i have no idea uh, text her and ask um so i don't know if we're just gonna go to like to the mall and then get food after or if we're not gonna get food or what i don't know i don't know either i'm not like i'm not hungry yet and i don't want to like force myself to eat and then like yeah. later on i'll be more hungry yeah. and then i'll eat like 10 meals yeah so I'm not hungry yet either. But we could just get like something small, like a salad. And like maybe like a little vodka drink or something. We're gonna vlog when we're done in this car because you can never hear anything in this car, so. Yeah. Show of hands, who likes horse riding? There Some people like horse riding, babe. Anyways, we are at the outlet mall and I'm gonna go to the liquidation center. I'm like, I love going to like thrift stop stops thrift shops and liquidation centers and I also want to get a nose ring I want to get a, a white one or a black one or something I feel like the black one would look ugly really I just saw my friend have one and I was like oh that looks really cute not look like a big blackhead or something on your nose no a ring oh a ring okay I thought you meant like a stud or something a black stud that would look like a black yeah that would look like a black yeah, head that's um I don't know but I need to change those look how cute she looks today thanks <laughs> There's like a new store over there. I don't know what it is. I just saw like a red sign and I've never seen it before. I'm getting hungry. I'm starting to get hungry now too. Yeah, <laughs> that's that, so that's funny. How, that's how I was about to turn into a burger meal real quick. Yeah. Um, anyways, we'll show you guys where we go. Okay guys, so we're at this restaurant. Look, first of all, look at Josh's fries. I remember these pla this place having good french fries too. 
I got a Mediterranean bowl is what they called it. There's like quinoa at the bottom, or like lettuce, and a bunch of healthy stuff. Josh got a chicken Caesar wrap and these bomb waffle fries. And I like how it looks like the baskets fell over. Yeah. Um, and then I got a vodka water and then he got a beer. I'm so excited. This is tzatziki sauce. I think those are chickpeas, fried chickpeas. Mmm, those are good too. Beets, olives, tomatoes, cucumber, onion. This is Josh's worst nightmare. Yeah, that is mine. Hey guys, so I'm about to go pick up Olivia because we are going to do some packing in my house because we move in two weeks. Kind of nervous, um, but I'm gonna stop and get some food. So I'm still kind of hungry today and I'm, I'm just gonna listen to my body because it's bothering me. So I think I'm gonna get like a sandwich and like a drink or something. I'm not really sure. Let me text Olivia before I leave though because I don't want to text and drive, so. So I'm gonna pick up Olivia. Oh my God, my, my car still smells like McDonald's from yesterday when me and Olivia did the McDonald's video. Oh my God. I think I'm, I want like a, they have like this ham and I don't know what it is, ham and cheddar sandwich and it looks really good. And I don't know if I want that or if I want like the hot warm one. I think I might get the warm one that's like panini press. I think it's just like ham and cheddar and then it's like in a panini presser with an iced coffee. Um, just cause I did not have energy to, I did not have energy to go and I'm like really distracted right now. I do not have the energy to go and pack without a nice cap right now. My energy today was super, super, super low. I don't know if it's because I'm on my period. I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is. Like today, I mean, I didn't have a good sleep though, like at all. Like I slept like maybe four and a half hours. I did end up having a nap today, but I think that just made me more tired of anything. So coffee is much needed right now. I usually always get a chocolate shot added to my iced coffees, but I don't think I'm going to get one right now because I kind of just want the taste of like a nice iced coffee. And I don't know if I'm going to get a medium or large yet either. There's some stuff I do want to talk about uh, and some house updates that I want to talk about. So I'm going to go to Tim Hortons and I'll talk to you guys when I have my food. Should I put a mask on? I should probably put a mask on before I grab this guy's order. So, um, Tim Hortons has like this thing right now. It's like called roll up the rim. If you're in Canada, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not from Canada, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, it's like this thing where you can like roll up the rim usually without COVID. There's like actually like in the rim of your coffee, you could like roll it up and then you can either win a prize or something like that. There's like, they've given away cars. Actually, Olivia's husband won a car off of it. Um, my stepdad won um, a barbecue. There's like, you can just win like a donut or whatever. It's kind of like Monopoly with McDonald's. If you've ever played Monopoly and McDonald's. It's kind of the same thing. So I got this like ham and cheddar panini little sandwich thing. I should have just made one at home, but didn't want to. <laughs> Put on the light because, oh, is that better? Kind of. And then I got an iced coffee. Okay. I'm going to see if I want anything. So now because of COVID, they don't have roll up the rim. I already won a donut today and a, I want a donut and I won a reusable cup. I have the chance to roll again. One, oh, a $20 Skull Candy digital promo code. Cool. I don't even really know what I can get there, but whatever. Okay, let's try this. I've actually never had this, but it looks really good. It's literally just ham and cheddar and then it's just like in it. And a panini press. That person's. I hate when people drive obnoxious with their cars. Mm. Oh, I think there's a car meet over there. Oh, that makes sense. There's a car meet across the street. I mean, it tastes exactly how you think it's gonna taste. <laughs> okay, so I move and exactly. Okay, wait. I didn't do my math right. 18 days now, so like a week and a half. Two weeks and a half. Sorry. Wow, bad math. Two weeks and a half is what I meant. <laughs> I have some things packed, but I don't have like a lot of things. I think I need to start packing stuff. Like I only need like one pan, one pot, you know? I could put away like majority of my food, like my snacks and stuff. I only need one shampoo, one body wash, you know? I'm gonna take down all my decor on my walls, stuff like that. So that's why I need to eat this and drink this coffee so that I have the energy to go pack when I get home. I'm excited, but I'm also overwhelmed because last year when I moved at this time, <clears throat> to my first house I got really thrown off on YouTube like 
because it was so hard I couldn't find a place to film. I was losing my memory card, so this time I have to be more organized and I have to pre-record. So I'm gonna go insane if I don't. So my Patreon videos are gonna be pre-recorded pre and everything, but Also, this might be triggering for some people with any kind of ED, like eating disorders. So if you don't like talking about eating disorders or if you get triggered really easily by certain things, I really feel like you should uh, skip this. And I'll put a timestamp right here on where you can skip to. Anyways, for me, I feel like the past couple days, I kind of regained my relationship with food in a healthy way. Like, I always, like, I've made a video on my YouTube channel about my eating disorder and how I basically had like I didn't I wasn't anorexic I guess I can't self-diagnose like I'm not gonna say that I was but I was really calorie restricting without it kind of happened in a way where I didn't even realize it was happening like back in like 2018 I want to say it was or 2017 and I was just like calorie restricting to the point where I was like almost 100 pounds as a 18 year old, 19 year old, which was not healthy. I'm five foot six. So, I don't know. And then I went to like the other extreme when I had to gain weight for my BBL. I kind of went from like, super restricting to like super eating a lot and it made me like really I really fucked my brain and it became like this binge eating thing where I would just like eat and eat and eat I think because I realized that I wasn't eating enough and then and then recently like this past year and a half I've been on this bad cycle of like restricting and then eating a lot and then restricting and then eating a lot in these past couple of days, I've done a really good job of just eating when I'm hungry and not eating too much and allowing myself to snack and allowing myself to just, but still being mindful, you know, like, like I'm super hungry right now. Like I could have went and got this and a donut and whatever, or I could have went home and not ate at all. Like the old me would have either not ate at all or I would have ate like two Big Macs. <laughs> Yeah, um, I have a video on Patreon about it. I didn't want to post like my eating disorder thing on YouTube because it's kind of like a lot. But is there mayo on this? Is that what Tim Hortons does? Like, what is that? Or is that a different type of cheese? Is that even supposed to be on here? I don't know if that's supposed to be on here. But whatever. Anyways, I'm going to go to pick up Olivia. So I'll... Sh okay, guys, that was it for my video. Sorry that that vlog was a little crazy it was the weekend so i just kind of recorded throughout the weekend to get an extra vlog up but that was it that's all i did on the weekend is i literally packed had a date with josh and just hung out around the house most of my room and stuff is packed now which is good but i just wanted to tell you guys something kind of a big announcement kind of not um i think a lot of people already know about this but i will be recording my podcast there will be a visual aspect to my podcast very soon it will be uploaded on my main channel and we are already on episode 9 at the moment so if you guys want to be caught up on the podcast and if you guys want to be able to know the guests that are there if you guys want to know the inside jokes because sometimes we refer to other podcasts um, I really highly recommend just going and downloading them they're free on um, Spotify and on Apple podcasts you can just go listen to it they're free and it's a good way to get used to the podcast and get to know what we're doing um, I spent hundreds of thousands not hundreds of thousands but hundreds and thousands of dollars on the podcast room setup we have professional mics we have a professional switcher like it's going to be recording so so cool it's going to look so good so if you guys are interested in that go check out my podcast before it becomes public it will probably be out around in october in o october oh my god probably around in april i move on march 31st and we're going to get it up and running asap we already have all of this stuff set up all we need to do is just decorate the room um so i'm really excited to start recording my podcast with a visual aspect to it i think it's going to get a lot more traffic that way and it'll be on youtube and you'll actually be able to see the stuff we're talking about so um i really want you guys to go check out my podcast it's free 
it would mean a lot to me um if you guys like just to listen to me talk i feel like a lot of people watch me just to hear me talk like i don't do anything special but a lot of people just love to hear me talk so go check out the podcast please 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 it would mean a lot to me it is free once again it's free um i love you guys so much and i'm so excited to do my podcast and have a visual aspect to it it's going to be so awesome so amazing i'm so excited the quality is pristine and it's going to look so good so I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Don't take no time off. Bad bitch trippy. She throw my vibe off. Flooding in diamonds. That must still shine when you turn in the light off. No, she gon' ride. Yeah. Yeah, she be screaming when I'm up inside. Yeah. She don't get tired. She come to the crib. I don't gotta invite. Yeah. Don't take no time off. Bad bitch trippy. She throw my vibe off. Flooding in diamonds. That must still shine when you turn in the light off. No, she gon' ride. Yeah.